all right now that we have this matrix done we are left with the last step which is to incorporate this into our calculation of probabilities and for that we need to summon this theorem called the Bayes theorem now I have to keep the formula there because it is trying to really show you how uh, the theory works but we don't have to be bogged down by all the conditional probabilities here what I just want you to have a look quick look at least is that notice that the the order of the conditionals swapped so on the left hand side is what we want what we are interested in is that given that i of one for example let's take k to be one and j to be uh, three so given that i of one has happened what does that mean i of one right means consultant says s of one given that we have heard from the consultant who predicted that economy will do well we have heard it consultant has spoken what is the chance that the economy will actually do badly because j equals to three so economy will do badly what's the chance that that will be that will happen let's think about that again huh? it is different from p of s3 p of s3 says the probability of economy doing badly kind of like don't tell me what the consultant says i don't know i just listen i just have a feel of what's the chance that the economy will do badly right versus p of s3 given i1 k equals one so consultant says economy will do well what's the chance that economy will actually not do well will do badly see there's a difference there right and sometimes this this probability on the left is difficult to find difficult to calculate or sometimes impossible to calculate like in this case consultant said this what's the chance that economy will actually be bad well um we might trust that very little because the the, the consultant is credible but you know to what extent do we do we say that well it is it hasn't changed or has changed changed by how much and all that right so Bayes theorem allows us to use the swapped order that is p of i k remember k is equal to uh, one so p of i k given s3 that's in our reliability matrix right yeah here yeah. p of i k k is one so this number p of i1 given s3 right uh, so we can use this and the denominator also exclusively uses the i k given s uh, t sj st so on the right side it is purely based on the credibility matrix on the left side is what we really want right hearing that the consultant says economy will do well what's the chance that economy will not do well right we really are curious about that and on the right side just based on the credibility matrix extracting portions of it doing the multiplication division and summation we will be able to calculate the left hand side which will lead us to um, a sort of revision in our outlook about the future because if it is unlikely because you know a very credible consultant says economy will do well then s3 should not be likely because it is cre he's credible if he's not credible then s3 shouldn't be changed much right so we'll go through this calculation and see fortunately we don't have to uh really do this number crunching there's a easier less error prone way to do it and that's called the tables method the tableau method right so it is easiest to just look at the table and see for ourselves how to calculate it now take this table as a working we don't have to show all the summation division and all that just take this as a working um before the numbers sort of overwhelm you let's just be clear all right because the left hand side here all these uh well let me just make sure that we can see what's underneath all the left hand side portion that i've highlighted they are given right they have to be given why because we need to know the state of natures we need to know what possible 
um, phrasing or wordings will the consultant say. Sometimes we might have state of nature's economy is good, neutral, bad, but the consultant will only choose to say economy is good or bad. So then we will only be left with I1, I2 without I3. Okay, so the columns need not agree with the rows. But one has to know what the consultant will say. So it's important to give us what is uh, how many I1, I2, I3 you have and what do they mean. Next is prior probabilities. We definitely must have done our homework, right? We definitely will have uh, the prior probabilities. That means our assessment of how uh, likely S1, S2, S3 will happen. Because remember, we are making decisions with probabilities and those are given. So prior to asking consultant, our view of economy will do well, 10%. Economy staying so-so, 60%. Economy will do badly, 30%, very likely. right? And then uh, we stick on to it, the credibility matrix, right? The consultant's uh, numbers, how good, how bad this person has been performing or this consultant entity has been performing. And what we are left with will just be calculating the right-hand side. And again, before the numbers swarm you again, let's just be clear. We do the middle table and then we do the right table one at a time. So the middle table, let me just uh, color it differently maybe so that we can see it better. So for the middle table, it is very easily calculated by partitioning or, or slicing the prior probability. So use 0.1 times 0.3, uh, 0.7, sorry, uh, 0.1 times 0 0.25, 0 0.1 times 0 0.05 and then we'll get the first row of this middle section this green section okay so um, basically the consultants reliability uh, numbers will be used as percentages to slice up our prior probabilities okay so let's say for 0 0.6 we'll multiply by 0 0.1 0 0.7 and 0 0.2 respectively to get 0 0.06 0 0.42 0 0.12 and we do the same for the last row, 0.3, we'll get the last row. So it's very easily and quickly done. It's, it's unambiguous, straightforward, and it's repetitive, yes, but it, is, it can be done very quickly. Next, we want to uh, sum up the columns, in this case, to end up having this row, which I would like to change to a different color. Um, what should it be? Oh, that's for the fill. Um, no, no, no fill. Okay, let's change the color to um, blue. So by adding vertically down 0 0.07 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.03, we get 0 0.16. So we add up the columns and write down the column sums as P of I K. Uh, remember, this will inform us about the probability of I K happening. What is I K? If K is 1, means what's the probability that consultant will say S of 1? What is S of 1? Con economy is good. So in other words, what's the probability that a consultant will recommend that economy will do well? That's 0 0.16. What's the probability that consultant will recommend economy will not do well. That's P of I3, which is 0 0.305. So we have that calculated here and very visibly uh, presented here. And lastly, after doing these two steps in that order, because you, you don't have any other ways, any other sequence to do that, we can very comfortably calculate the last box, the last section here. All right, and uh, let's just color it differently yet again. Um, maybe we should do cyan. And how do we get these numbers? Very simple. Uh, at the corresponding position, for example, how do we get 0 0.4375? We take the corresponding number in the middle, the green box here, divide by its own column total. Okay, so using 0 0.07 divided by 0 0.16, we get 0 0.4375. Check. Okay. 
Um, how do we get 0 0.5902? Well, use the 0 0.18 divided by its own column total. Check that you get 0 0.5902. One last example, how do I get um, 0 0.3934, for example? Well, use 0 0.12 divided by its own column total, you get 0 0.305. Ah, sorry, uh, uh, its own column total of 0 0.305, you get 0 0.3934. All right, so check that you can get all these numbers. And when you do so, notice that the label is now P of SJ given IK, precisely the posterior probabilities that we want. That is to say, if consultant says economy is good, what probability would it be for the economy to actually become good? So we are asking P of S1 given I1. And that immediately you look at the I1 given I1, P of S1, the first row is 0 0.4375. Um, if the consultant says economy will do badly, what's the chance that it will do good? So we ask P of S1 given I3. So we look under I3 and we say first row, because first row is S1, right? Oh, 0 0.0164. Not likely that economy will do well when such a credible consultant says economy will do badly. Make sense? Okay. So interestingly, let's... Um, make sense out of all these numbers. Um, earlier on, we believe single-mindedly that economy will do well 10%. All right? So we asked the consultant, if consultant says economy will do well, and with this credibility, then our view is that economy now has 43.75% chance that it will do well. That means given that consultant says economy will do well, now we change our perspective, right? We think that it is more than four times likely, more probable than our earlier view prior to asking the consultant. Because prior to that, we believe it was only 10%. Consultant now says economy will do well. Our perspective of the economy is that, hmm, now we think the probability of economy actually doing well, given that consultant has said it will do well, is 0.4375. Now that might not be 0 0.99, but it is more than four times our original uh, estimate of the probability, right? Same thing. At first, we think that economy has a pretty high chance, right? 0 0.3 chance of going bad, doing badly. If we ask the consultant, consultant says, I3, right? Consultant says economy will do badly. If that's the case, we ask, what's, what's the probability of economy doing badly, S3, given that consultant has said that economy will do badly, I3. So that's P of S3 given I3. We look under the I3 column, under the S3 row, we get 0 0.5902. Nearly double, nearly double. Yeah, because the consultant is credible, right? So we get the sense that, mm, okay, the probabilities, the posterior probabilities kind of make sense. And it doesn't just tell us, oh, you should increase your probability because consultants say that. It, it gives us the actual number, right? Thanks to Bayes' theorem. So here in this Tableau approach, we are not inventing a new theory. We are basically executing uh, Bayes' theorem in a table manner, in a very systematic, organized table manner. So we use this as working.